we are just pulling up to Fat Boys Pizza where me and Andrew here are about to take on the Gut Buster Challenge. Two people, one hour, a 28 inch, two topping pizza. Andrew, we got this, right? Yeah, we got all of it, 100%. We've had a lot of haters out there recently telling us we can't do this, but just know we have been training for this for weeks. We knew for us to even have a chance of conquering this pizza, we were going to need to be in peak physical pizza eating shape. A thousand one. A thousand two. With several weeks of training in the books, it was time to tackle the beast. No turning back now. But first, we had to see just how much work went into making a 28 inch pizza. Naturally, you have to start with a giant ball of dough. It's six pounds. After everything, sauce, cheese, toppings, it's roughly eight to 10 pounds. After coming out of the oven. You heard that right. 10 pounds of pizza when it's all said and done. Next, you have to add it to the flour and cornmeal and make sure there won't be any bubbles once the pizza is put in the oven. And while that's happening, we decided to get a little bit more information on exactly how difficult this challenge is going to be. Do a quite a few game fail? Yeah, because um, they, th they think that it's not as big and it's not as much. And the most common misconception that people have coming in is one that we also believe to be true. Thinking it's two large pizzas put together and it's not, it's the same as six large pizzas put together. Six large pizzas. As the sauce, cheese, and toppings are added, we were wondering what exactly we've gotten ourselves into. But we didn't have too much time to think because before we knew it, the pizza was out of the oven and ready to eat. After a quick rundown of the rules, one hour to eat it, you can get up, you can stay in your area, you're fine. Just uh, no reaching out to anyone or anything like that. It was time to get started. And we're off. We knew we needed to fly out of the gates and get as much pizza down as we could before we started getting full. But unfortunately, that led to a rookie mistake. We couldn't afford to slow down, so we started splitting the pieces up to make them cool faster. And behind the crowd that came out to support us, we finally kicked it into gear. And had everyone believing that we were going to come out on top. I think they can do it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. They're doing really good on time. Still have 45 uh, minutes? Here. Oh yeah. You Sorry, guys look like you're gonna get it done. About 20 minutes in, that stuffed feeling was starting to kick in. So we went to the staff for any help we could get. We've actually had people stand there and do jumping jacks. It's up to her. We kept powering through, and about 30 minutes in, we were almost halfway done with the pizza. But things quickly took a turn. Things aren't going well. We were losing our momentum, so we knew we had to go for a true Hail Mary. I'm gonna go for a full-on power move. Give me that big piece. Oh, uh, this one? Give me the biggest piece. It got the energy right back in the building. Come on, guys. You can do it. But ultimately, I immediately regret this decision. And at this point, the crowd had all but given up faith in us. Could they have a second win, you think? I hope, but I, I think Will's done. I don't know. I don't know. They might be able to do it. They're slowing down. And at this point, the pizza was forcing us to focus on literally anything else we could to take our mind off of it. Oh, man, I'm going to watch Force Awakens when I get home. Being it The just, Rock must be awesome, man. I'd be wore black pants, you'd look like uh, Tiger Woods, but he's like a winner, so... Dude, I'm so excited for Fast 8. How many Facebook fans do you have? Like a million. As time wound down, we realized we were not going to make it, but made a huge personal decision. I don't quit. I eat pizza until the bell rings. If I win or I lose, I'm still eating that pizza. We knew the goal was out of reach. We kept eating until that final buzzer. Um, Ultimately, we finished a little over half of the pizza. But how does that stack up against others who have done this same challenge? I usually get halfway. But most yeah. of them give up after 20 minutes or 15 minutes or so. That cheese starts settling at the bottom of the stomach, but you usually can't handle that part. And that dough starts swelling up. They're actually doing pretty good. The Gut Buster Challenge comes with a $300 reward for all those who finish it. The plan was for us to donate the winnings to the Lawton Food Bank, but thanks to Fat Boy's Pizza, this... Oh God, I hate myself. ...wasn't the end. You guys tried so hard, Fat Boy's Pizza will still donate the $300 from the Lawton Food Bank. <laughs> As you saw, we came out here and we tried very hard, but honestly, we failed pretty miserably. And right now, the only thing I'm really regretting is even trying this at all. Shout out to everybody who's come out here and done this before. You guys are amazing for being able to do that. That is tough. And shout out to everybody here at Fat Boys Pizza for being, for letting us come out here, being so helpful and everything. 
Andrew, any last words? I'm glad we got to try it. I am not at this point, but reporting from Fat Boys Pizza, Will Hutchison, 7 News.